Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to Behind the Beat. My name is Chris Langan. Today, I've got a very special guest, Mr. Tanner Snyder. He's going to be uh, doing a lesson for you on some bass drum technique. So before we got into that, I figured I'd take a second to introduce him and uh, let you guys know what Tanner's up to. All right, so Tanner, how old are you? 16 years old. 16. All right, cool. Um, so what got you started playing the drums? Um, my uncle was very influenced into music, and I always loved music growing up when I was little. And long story short, um, I went to my brother's parent-teacher conference, and my parents went to go see the music teacher. And I was staring at the drum kit the whole time, and he let me go bang out for a couple of 30 minutes, and ever since then I've been playing. Excellent. Sounds kind of like my story, just when I first saw them, I was kind of hooked, man. That's awesome. Um, let's see. So how long have you actually been playing now? I've been playing for 11 years. 11 years and already teaching people how to play. That's awesome. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, who are you currently playing with right now? Well, I am currently in a band called Blind Choice. We are like a punk band. We uh, very much sound like Green Day. Um, and I'm also mess around with another band called Brutality, which is like a metal kids band. It's fun to mess around with. And then I'm in a couple little acoustic projects. Excellent. Yeah, all over the place, guys. So why don't we let everybody know where they can find you so they can come check out some of these bands you're in. Um, you can find me on Facebook under Tanner Snyder. And you can find my Twitter, Tanner Snyder DB. And... Then you can follow my band's uh, Facebook, Blind Choice Band. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let Tanner get behind the kit here so he can show you guys some bass drum technique. See you in a bit. Hey, my name's Tanner Snyder. I'm going to show you guys on heel toe technique. How to start building onto your heel toe technique. What I used to do was I would sit down and I would just practice going heel, toe. I tried to get it as fast as I could. I would practice this for, say, a good month, two months. I just practiced doing this before I could actually apply to a kick. I used to bug crap out of my dad doing this. Then I started applying it to the kit with these certain exercises. I would want to try to match my hands with my feet. So I would start off going. Then I would start to match it more with singles. So. My right hand would be heel, left hand would be toe, and it'd be like this. Just practice doing that. Then I would start to apply two beats. So I will show you now. As I started doing that, I was starting to be able to speed up things. So it would sound a little bit like this. And it would sound like this. Want to switch it up? Try to 
build the muscles. And then in the beat, it would sound like this. Then what I would try to do is apply it to my fills. So I would take the warm up. And I would go around the thumbs. So I go. And I would start off with that beat. Building on to heel toe technique, it's a little tricky. It was very tricky for me. I don't know if that was just me, but it might be different for you. So, how I apply it to what I play. I like to tighten up my foot a little bit more to get a little bit more of a snap. So, I will show you how I apply it to my kind of stuff. But it all started from going heel, toe. With those exercises. You can apply the heel toe technique to both feet if you want to try doing some double pedal heavy metal stuff. Well, that's all I have. Hopefully I helped you. Again, my name is Tanner Snyder. I would like to thank Chris Langan for letting me come on and try to show you guys heel toe technique. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on cover videos and lessons. If you want to check me out, you can check out my Facebook at Tanner Schneider or you can check out my band, Blind Choice. Well, that's all I got. Hopefully I helped you. Thank you. Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I am one of those melodramatic fools neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. Sometimes I give myself the creeps Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me It all keeps setting up I think I'm so